Good morning and welcome back to my channel. So today is a vlog style video. We're heading up to the north of Sweden today and I thought it would be fun for the next couple of weeks while we're there to vlog and put out a vlog every single day. Now that I know uh, what it entails and how YouTube works, I'm going to be able to do it. Last year uh, I was still getting my head around how to film and vlog and do all those things. Uh, but those of you are and uh, subscribe to my channel. I hope this is interesting and I hope you enjoy watching. Uh, if anybody is new, welcome. I would love to have you uh, subscribe to my channel. It's a really small channel, but I'm hoping it's gonna grow uh, into a larger one and that everyone's gonna enjoy what I put out. So today I'm gonna put around the house. We're gonna leave after lunch and then we'll have dinner on the way and then get up to the north around nine o'clock at night, I would assume, or even 10, uh, depending on what time we leave it's a six and a half hour drive we do like to stop for lunch or for dinner this time it will be dinner we get there tomorrow morning i will vlog and show you the house what it looks like and the village i have a cup of coffee i'm still in my morning robe um i am wearing this band this um a band my son made for me it's just and i am just going to get on with my day before my husband wakes up he has a couple of things to do and then he's going to prepare for the six and a half hour journey up to the north so as you can see we've left stockholm now and we left just before three o'clock i didn't film at home just because it was a bit chaotic trying to get ourselves on the road in time uh, we were a little delayed so we'd probably be at three honica in at about 10 30 i would think um, but this is the landscape as we set out and once we are in Yavla now uh, it is an hour from stockholm and that building you see is called the dragon gate it's a business and cultural center that went bankrupt some years ago so it really is closed up so nothing's happening there but this fighter jet you see is in a place called Sertha Ham. Uh, it used to have a fighter squadron there but now it is a museum they don't have it anymore and as you can see it started really raining as well i just wanted to take a moment to show you what i usually pack for the trip we've got some sweets the kids are bigger now so don't have so much but these are sort of banana fudge sweets this bag is actually my husband's and mine uh, we've got a lot of different types of licorice here. We love licorice in our family. We are traveling on a Saturday, so it is Lada's Gudis. Um, so that means Saturday sweets here in Sweden. So the kids were playing most of the day because we we're going to be in the car uh, for about six hours. They got to go to the shop and buy their own little sweet bag. Now, when we travel, I love to take all the extra bits and bobs that we have in our boxes, you know, half eaten biscuits and little extra things so everybody can choose what they want. And then that way I get to finish everything and obviously a little pack of wet wipes. When the kids were younger, I had a lot more paper and all those things when we were traveling up to the north because it's so long. Uh, but nowadays, they're much bigger and there's no more uh, throwing up and spitting up and things like that so that's really great and as you saw I do have the iPad here in my bag uh, but we do take it in turns uh, to have the iPad uh, it's not allowed for the entire trip uh, my husband's family has always been used to having some coke so we have a little freezer bag with some drinks in it this one's called Turkish pepper it is a Swedish uh, licorice sweet that really is quite strong So we're up here, we are stopping to have some Burger King, uh, our usual stops for uh, the trip up here. As you can see over there, it says Max. The kids want to go to Max, but my husband wanted to go to Burger King and since he's driving, that's what we're going to do. I'm not going to film inside there, but I thought I would just show you the area. This is what's behind me. So we have parked over here. Uh, there's a gas station and obviously a few things around the area and I'm just going to start ordering our food.
after dinner, it was time to head back into the car and on the road again for the next stretch of our journey. My husband is really great. He drives a six and a half hour stretch up to the north. He doesn't complain. I don't have a driver's license, unfortunately. I really should get mine because then I could ease up his driving and he could take a break. But he never complains and I just sit there enjoying all the scenery. It doesn't matter how many times we go up, every time we drive up, it always feels new and fresh and I really enjoy these sort of open water views that you can see right now they're so beautiful especially in this sort of sunlight and uh, just before everything gets dark during dusk it really is beautiful we are coming up to a bridge uh, this bridge that you're going to be seeing is called Hergetunens Brun it's our sort of golden gate bridge if you will uh, it really is uh, a feature here on our way up to the north and as you can see it is uh, over one of the massive lakes that you have here in Sweden. There are really, really a lot of lakes and I, some of them really stretch a long, long way like the Lake Malaren. So what you're going to see on my right uh, really is coming up is the hotel and conference building that is called the Hergetunans um hotel really uh, you get conferences and we have stopped there and had food um once uh, or twice as well when we usually have guests who come with us driving up to the north we have quite a few guests who come up with us we stop there and eat this as you can see is a lot of timber a lot of wood uh, and as you may know or may not know Sweden is a country that we use a lot of wood in we build our houses in wood and we produce about 18.6 million cubic meters of wood they cut down every single year two-thirds of it is actually exported so uh, that is quite a lot of wood <laughs> so it really is fun to see sometimes you see the sawmills and sometimes you see what we just saw planks and planks of wood and then it was just a case of sitting in the car, enjoying the view. My children started falling asleep. My eldest anyway, my youngest was still up. And we just chatted and enjoyed each other's company and made our way up to the north. I have to say we did see a moose on the way up in the north and i am so gutted that i didn't get to film it my husband said get out your camera i got disturbed by my son and i was not filming and as you can see here i just wanted to show you the time it's nine o'clock and it's still really really light so all the countries obviously right at the top like uh, alaska and finland and denmark all of them have this sort of uh, continuing day all the time in the summer months uh, it really is um, I think absolutely lovely and quite uh, unusual but people living in this area they have you so used to it uh, it is just the norm for them during the summer months and then obviously in the winter months it's dark most of the time now this is a town called Ernschersvik. You can see there it's a big swimming uh, slide. It's a swimming hole. We like to come here uh, ever so often. It takes about 45 minutes to an hour's drive from where we are. I usually do some shopping and the children goes bathing with my husband. So I am definitely going to come in here. I think maybe during the week around Wednesday or Thursday, we've got some friends who are staying here. They live in Australia at the moment. Um, so they are here on holiday. So we will meet up with them so i will be doing a day uh in anxious week when i vlog over there they've got uh lots of shops there i like to go to the h&m there and i will probably do some filming as well uh, so you'll get to see and maybe my husband can do some filming inside the swimming hole so that you can see what it's like it really is fun not very far from where we live so my husband and i like to take the kids in there um and this was just a beautiful beautiful a view it was not long after this that we did see the moose it was really quite a large moose and i am really really gutted but hopefully during our stay up in the north for the next two weeks we should see some moose as well and i'd try and get some footage for you 
So this is really the last stretch of our journey. Another 20 minutes, I would think, uh, returning in. And the sign there said Triakhanika, which is the little town that we're going to go to. It's so beautiful when the sun is setting uh, and the light on the trees. It just makes everything glow and look so golden and lush and beautiful. I really, really love Sweden for its nature, for everything that it has to offer. And I really, really am very grateful that my children and I get to grow up uh they they get to grow up in this beautiful beautiful country and get to experience a lot of the country considering we go up north quite often now i lived in sri lanka growing up in sri lanka is also very very beautiful and it is a vast contrast for me living in the tropics and then living here in sweden uh, so it is a huge uh, change but i absolutely love it i am um, really enjoying the winters and all the decor and clothes and everything that goes with it um, so i really enjoy my life here in sweden i've been living here for about 15 years now so it is a long time and i am absolutely in love with the country so i'm going to end the vlog very soon i hope you've enjoyed this sort of trip up to the north um give it a thumbs up if you do i know it might not be to everyone's liking because it's a lot of scenery and might feel repetitive for some of you um but I just wanted to vlog for everyone else to see, as well as for me and my family. I think it's a really fun way for us to document uh, our journeys up here to the north of Sweden. So don't forget to tune in tomorrow. Tomorrow is actually Treachonika day. It's a Sunday uh, when we go up there. It's our first day and they're going to have some activities there. So I'm going to take you around, show you what there's to offer. It's not a very large town, so don't get excited. It's just going to be showing you exactly how they live here up in the north of Sweden. Very small, very secluded, uh, but they do come together as a town to celebrate the town's day here. We are heading up to the house in just a few, few seconds here, and then I'm going to be ending the vlog. So I hope you've had a good weekend, and I will see you on Monday when I start putting out the vlog from our life here up in the north of Sweden for the next two weeks. So don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.